Hey YouTube, Smoky Medic. Just got done filming a uh, tobacco review that I'm going to post before this. I'm smoking plum pudding on my Alpha Enterprises pipe and enjoying just uh, just a little bit of uh, Buffalo Trace bourbon with it. Really good pairing. So this is a vlog. Um, I think I'm going to try to do a vlog a day. Um, could be short, long, depending on what's going on. So really, it will have no no direct subject matter. Might have this some little quick things or whatnot. But uh. This is just a, uh, it just say uh, it's a nice, beautiful day. Uh, it's in the low 70s, probably just a little bit over 70 if that. Uh, nice little breeze, it's just beautiful outside. I went ran some errands today in shorts and t-shirt and flip-flops, it's awesome. I'm supposed to get some showers, thunderstorms later this afternoon, so I'm just kind of chilling the rest of the day. We had a uh, past few weeks been really busy. Um, as I mentioned uh, uh, in a video last week, me and my wife were getting our house ready um, for we just started the process of hopefully becoming foster parents um, which we're hoping to adopt out of foster care and um, we had our first home visit yesterday it went uh, very well uh, they were very happy with our home um, and us it seemed they let us fill out the rest of the paperwork and everything so um, very excited but uh we were just a little bit stressed the past few weeks, just hoping everything was going to go well and getting everything ready. So, on uh, my days off, I was um, doing stuff all day. So, yesterday afternoon, after we had our, our visit, we went out for lunch real quick and ran to a few stores and went and got our fingerprints taken for the uh, uh, um, background check and came home and... So my wife, you know, I'm just going to lay down for a minute with the dogs in, on, in the bed. My back was a little bit sore, and I just passed out. I passed off like two, two and a half hours. I was tired. So today I just wanted to work on some videos. Like I said, the tobacco review I've been wanting to do. I've got some other tobaccos I can do reviews on as well. Um... Got this. So, oh, real quick, uh, I'll note with, uh, has anybody tried this uh, Pepsi Cola, original Cola, 1893? I um, got this at the gas station across the street from my station. Uh, it's been a few weeks, two, three, maybe a month ago almost. Um, I was in there, they remodeled and they reopened. I went in there to get something to drink. I was looking around and I saw it and uh, bought it. And um, it's just... Uh, Bold spin on original cola, and um, on the back it just says uh, boldly blended cola made with cola nut extract, dark brown malt flavor, and a touch of aromatic bitters with sparkling water and real sugar. So um, I thought it would be good to um, make a little cocktail with with some bourbon, maybe. Um, and I was planning on doing that today, but it's not warm enough. Um, for me today to uh, um, have a, a cooler cocktail, so I'm just drinking the, the, the bourbon straight up. But, uh, really good. If you, just let me know if anyone's tried that, whether it's just uh, straight or uh, if you tried it mixed with stuff. Got a uh, dogs out here with me. That's Gavin, and then that's Ghost and Sophie. Sophie's the Black Boston Terrier with her Hello Kitty harness. They're sitting just chilling, enjoying the weather, enjoying the smells. 
listen to the people that are outside. Bought this lighter last year. I talked about. I think I have a video on it. Talked about it. Um, it's a Zycar. You know, a copy of a popular. You know, it's a very popular design for pipe lighters. Sent back to him because the flame wasn't. Um, couldn't adjust the flame to get very big. Um, and it came back okay. But I tell you what, it's. It when when your bowl starts to burn down. If you got a pretty big bowl, doesn't work very well. If you use it outside, if there's just a little bit of breeze, doesn't work very well. I tell you what, my go-to pipe lighter is just a bic. I mean, they work. They work every, pretty much every time, all the time, and um, you know, inside, outside. Um, you don't have to worry about refilling them. I mean, I'll, I use the pipe lighters I have, but. Um, they're my, it's my go-to. In fact, I'm going to relight this real quick. Come on. So, going to be doing some planting here pretty soon. Vegetables. I'm um, actually planting some herbs uh, over the weekend. Um, some of my herbs didn't come back this year. My rosemary and sage that have come back the past three years um, died during the winter. I'm not sure why we didn't have that harsh of a winter. Um, so replanted. Uh, couldn't find any sage for sale. We went to Home Depot, they didn't have any. So we planted um, rosemary and basil. Uh, we actually replanted it um, actually just up front by our porch here um, in our flower bed. Um, so we didn't have to walk in the backyard to get it because we used a lot during the spring and summer for cooking. Um, and also my wife read that um, rosemary and sage um, is supposed to be a natural deterrent for like um, mosquitoes and other insects. Excuse the camera shaking. That's the, the dogs going crazy playing. I think they think I'm going crazy, talking to myself. Mmm, delicious. Haven't had a drink in a while. Um, I don't drink that often. Usually, um, usually only drink when we uh, go out to dinner at a restaurant. So, what do you got to look forward to? Oh, before I forget, before I forget um, you guys know about the new phone I'm filming with. That's working great. I've got good uh, feedback on from it. Um, I also got a GorillaPod um, tripod um, for filming. So, it uh, clamps on my phone and it's got the adjustable legs. Um, so I can sit on different surfaces. It can wrap around different surfaces and whatnot. So um, that's helping with the filming a lot as well. So what you guys got look forward to? I've got I think at least three, three or four tobacco reviews. I need to do besides the one I just posted. Um, uh, I believe I've got some gear reviews to do I need to do. I might need to go through some of my stuff, uh, to see what I got over the winter that I messed with. Oh, well, yeah, so there's quite a bit of stuff.
trying to figure out what to do the rest of the day. Got some a little bit more paperwork I gotta fill out for DCFS. Um, also got some reading I could do. I'd like to get caught up on. I'm about quarter way, halfway through a book. That's a sequel to a book I read um, several years ago. It just came out not that long ago. Been working on, off and on. Um, also got uh, I bought a ham radio a few months ago. Uh, uh, Baofeng or Baofeng, not really sure how you're supposed to pronounce it. Here are different ways. And um, I need to work on um, getting my tech license for that and learning more about how to work it and everything in general because I understand nothing about it. Um, I got the manual, the tech manual for it. There's so much information in there. Um, I need to look and see what information I need to learn and study for the test um, so I can take the tech licensing exam. Um, I'd like to take it as soon as possible so that way I can start messing with it, trying to talk to people on it. But, um, yeah, a lot of good, lot of good things happening. Hopefully get some video here soon. Um, I should have just went and did this, done this today. Um, it's morel season, for sure. There are people find them now. A lot of morel mushrooms. I went morel mushroom hunting the first for the first time last year a few times. The buddy of mine, who's an experienced morel mushroom hunter, has done it um, ever since he was a kid with his dad. So I went with him a few times. Um, it just wasn't a extremely good year for it. Um, there wasn't as many of them, I guess, uh, because we didn't get the heat and the moisture at the same time together. So the ones that did pop up got um, snatched up pretty quick. Um, and we're just now starting to get um, moisture and heat to where they should really start popping up. Um, there's one place that just real I could get I could get to in like 10 minutes from my doorstep um, that I need to really hit up soon uh, I might try to do that Friday um, I've got physical I gotta go take Friday morning so I might try to do that then just go from there Dogs are having a ball out here. They love being out here. Also, you can do, uh, tomorrow it's supposed to be like 81 degrees, I think, something like that. 81, 85, I saw. So I need to, uh, took the cover off my air conditioner the other day, the other morning before I left for work, so I didn't forget. And, um, you do test out my air conditioner, make sure it's running all, all good and everything, because, um, usually with stuff goes wrong, it's when I'm at work. So I don't want it to be a hot day. My wife decides to turn it on and it's not working or something happens. So, uh... Well, my dog's up here. Is it up here? Nope. <laughs> so... So our political climate is pretty crazy now, as everybody I'm sure knows. I think the biggest thing that's wrong overall is we have, we've gotten away from what this country is supposed to be, why, how and why it was founded why people came here in the first place. Um, 
you know, I believe we have too big a government on all levels. I'm talking starting from your local government to your state to the federal level. Uh, people are just forgetting how it's all supposed to run. You know, we're supposed to be able to pretty much do as we please. I mean, I'm not talking about total, um, you know, no no laws, regulation of any kind. I don't mean that. I'm not talking about no taxes of any kind. Um, you know, we need taxes. We need to pay taxes to pay for, you know, public services, um, things like that. I don't think anyone has an issue paying taxes to keep roads up, to keep water coming to your house, to keep the sewer going to your house. Um, for public schools, things of that nature, uh, public safety. Um, but we've gotten away from that. We're paying for taxes. We don't need to be paying, paying taxes on. Things we're going to be paying taxes on. Um, We have governments telling us um, what we can do with ourselves, with our property. That's not how it's supposed to be. As long as something is not a public health or safety concern, um, it shouldn't be anybody's business. Um, I mean... Our, where I live, I believe it's a county code that you can only have three indoor animals. So that could be, the way I understand it, um, you could have three pet hamsters, three pet dogs, three pet cats, whatever. They are all considered the same and all count. Um, that should be none of anybody's business on how many animals I have in my home. Um, I have been in homes that... Uh, have one person in it that you would think a pack of wild stray dogs live in. Um, so you should have as many animals as you want in your home, but if it becomes a health and safety concern to uh, people in the house, especially children or the rest of the public, uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't be an issue. And I think we biggest problem is we have lots of people now in this country that uh, they don't want to, it almost seems like they don't want to make decisions for themselves. They want the government to tell them to take care of them almost. So they just want to give the government, they want small, they talk about like overbearing government, like even like now, but yet they want to elect people that want a bigger government to create more rules and laws and regulations and more taxes for things. It's 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 crazy and it's ridiculous. Um, you have people they talk about how um, you always hear it, corporations this and corporations that. You know what? I know there are. I'm sure there are corporations that do some crazy stuff that screw people over. But um, speaking from my personal experience, um, I have never been screwed over or taken advantage of. And I don't know anybody that has uh, from a corporation. Uh, but I can tell you that um, uh, I have been taken advantage of by the government more than anybody. Um, paying what I believe are unfair taxes and fees. Um, last year had to pay a penalty because I didn't have insurance the year before because I couldn't afford it. Because I was, nor did I need it. Um, I was a, um, a healthy 30 some year old male. And if I did have to go to a doctor, I'd go to a uh, doc in the box and pay it, pay out of pocket, um, pay for any medication out of pocket. Um, no issue. Uh, then when I was able to afford it, had a job that pays me a stipend for insurance. Um, I got insurance. But now, since I purchased out of the government marketplace, I went through free market. Um, 
they want to penalize me for that too. That's not right. We just need to start electing people to office again at all levels, local all the way to federal, that understand Constitution, Bill of Rights, um, the Federalist Papers, which I have not read yet, but um, but I have um, read a lot that if you read the Federalist paper, Papers, excuse me, you will get a better understanding of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and how everything's supposed to work. Um, are there flaws in all that system and in, in, in all that? There's going to be a flaw in anything that's man-made. So I'm done with that. So, okay. You know what, guys? This is uh, going on 22 minutes almost already. Just me rambling about nothing. I'm smoking my pipe. So, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, my very humble... Um, Video, my humble videos. Just watch me ramble, talk about things, likes, interest. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Remember, you know, please interact with me on YouTube. Uh, click the thumbs up, thumbs down button. Leave comments. Send me messages on anything. And um, got some good things to look forward to, you guys. So thanks again for watching. Smoking medic. You guys have a safe day, um, and we'll talk to you guys later.